Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I, um, little miffed. I'm upset. Upset. It's good to be with friends. I was recently watching uh, Stephen Colbert. Y'all, y'all, big fans of Stephen Colbert. Yeah. 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 Y'all like Stephen Colbert. Yeah. Yeah. Stephen Colbert recently went on a little rant about these Brazilian scientists who discovered a new arachnid. The uh, Ian Dama Smeagol. He was saying that they should have named it Gollum because Gollum is actually the scary cave dweller, or better yet, they should have called it Shelob or Angoliant, who are actually the spiders in The Lord of the Rings. He looked at this creature, counted up its eight legs, and called it a spider. Okay, it's cute. I got two problems with this, all right? First problem, that is not a spider. It's an arachnid, but it's not a spider, because there are lots of arachnids that aren't spiders. Ticks, scorpions, Daddy long legs, all arachnids, not spiders. You see, about three and a half billion years ago, life appeared on Earth. <laughs> you know, real life, like the kind that matters, not the kind that was made up by some English poet and professor. And after that life was here, that life started to evolve and you can classify it. You can classify it. So a small prokaryote ate another prokaryote and entered into a mutually symbiotic relationship developing the domain eukaryota. After that, a few billion years later, some of the multicellular life who was invertebrate developed a hard exoskeleton and jointed appendages and became the phylum arthropoda. Some of those arthropods decided, okay, eight legs is probably good enough, <laughs> and they became the class arachnids. Now, from there, the arachnids branch into several groups, one of those groups is the spiders, and spiders have hollow chelicerae that they use to inject venom. They have multiple pairs of eyes and they can make webs, like Shelob. Like Shelob. You know, like Shelob. But then there's another group that branches off of the arachnids, and that group has up to one pair of eyes, or in this case, no pairs of eyes. They do not have hollow fangs that produce venom, and they don't make webs. Those are not spiders. Those are apiliones, or daddy long legs, or troglobitic harvestmen. It looks like a spider, we stomp on them like they're spiders, but they're not spiders. They are not spiders. They are completely different organisms. You can't just call anything with eight legs a spider. You can't look at Octomom's kids, count up the legs and say it's a centipede. <laughs> that doesn't work that way, okay? Second problem, second problem, because we're only halfway through my problems, by the way. I hope, oh! hope nobody has dinner plans, so. Second problem. At the end of this video, Stephen Colbert challenges the Washington Post to fact check him. And what do they do? Nothing. The Washington Post did nothing. Or rather, they did what the American media does anytime there's a terrifying, horrific creature on the news. They reported on American politics. And stuff. So, Washington Post and Stephen Colbert. Do yourself fact check! Do yourself fact check! Consider